Hello foam fighters, I'm Dr. Flux, and today we're checking out the Nerf Rival Edge Series Saturn. Yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I've been trying to get with this one for a bit, and I just got it yesterday, so let's check it out. Oh, and quick disclaimer, no, it does not come with pink. I did that because I didn't like the brown. But yeah, let's dive right in. Now the Saturn has been on my radar for quite a bit now. I think it's, I think I've been looking at this for a month now. And part of this is because I love shotguns. Now, quite a few people are gonna say right off the bat, oh, that's not a shotgun, it doesn't shoot more than two. Well, guess what? It does. Now, I wanna actually mod this to where I can quickly hit that switch. So basically, there's a little switch here that you can kind of allow it to uh, deprime, and you can basically ratchet it again and put another rival round in the chamber. Uh, another way you can shoot two is just by simply feeding one forward like this as you're loading the rounds. So a couple different ways to load too. And I think you can actually do this multiple times and just fill the whole chamber up. But I don't think, I think after three rounds that that'd be a little bit ridiculous. As you can quickly see, I have painted this thing. And uh, as you can see here, it, for the forward pump grip, it is four screws, four small long screws that go into the actual pump section. And then there's two more large screws that just hold the main pump assembly together. The back stock just clips right on. I decided to paint this and I went a step further and actually opened it up. As you can see here, there is a little locking mechanism on the inside. So once you snap this on, if you wanna take the stock off, you have to take all the screws out because that locking mechanism is engaged. So the Edge Series has always came with some sort of target. This one comes with one of these, which just kind of lays on the floor and as you shoot it, it switches to the next, to the next, to the next. And uh, it, it's all right. I did notice from looking at it, my, and OptiMan actually pointed this out to me, that there is a hole on the bottom that you could potentially put this on a pole and maybe have it actually spin. I think if this thing spun, it would be a little bit better. My only concern with that is that the force of shooting this uh, might snap the arms off, but it's worth, it's worth checking out. In addition, these targets are actually not that bad. You can use these outside of this application. If we could put it on something that just spins or just like, you know, moves out of the way when, you, when it's hit. Uh, I do like them. I, however, do like, I do really like this original target that came with the Jupiter that actually dings when you hit it. I think this is probably the best target out of all of them. And then the next target was essentially like that, but a little bit cheaper and did not ding. And then this one is probably the cheapest. So each target has gotten a little bit more and more cheap in quality. But part of it is, you know, I don't even care if this came with this blaster or not. I would still purchase this because I am a big fan of it. It looks great. The ergonomics is just phenomenal. It has a great feel to it. The stock is nice. It actually feels great. The pump is probably my, I've been thinking that about this for a bit and I would say I can come to the conclusion that this pump is the most comfortable Nerf shotgun type pump that I've ever felt from just a stock Nerf blaster. So big fan of that. Has a good chunky, solid build quality feel to it. Now on the package, it makes claims of 90 FPS and it does deliver. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Also, uh, this comes with 10 rounds. So pretty standard for Nerf, you know, not to give you a, a plethora of rounds. Some quick aesthetics. So we have a, like I said, a very comfortable pistol grip, a very comfortable stock, a sling point here. All right, so it does have a end strike attachment rail here. If you would like to go with the pro shotgun sniper build, you can. On the side here, we have a safety, a trigger lock, which 
I actually kind of like. I usually like, I usually remove these, but this one I think I'm actually going to keep. I, I like that. This is very nice. Like I pointed out earlier, we have a, a, prime, a D prime switch, which is very cool. This blaster is slam fire. Every pump with, when you hold the trigger down, every pump is a fire. Really effective. Now I took this to the range and as you can see, it performed very well for your standard rival type of blaster. You know, anything up to about 40 feet is fair game. That's pretty much the engagement range of a shotgun anyways, you know, up to like 50 feet max. So rival's fine in that application. So future plans with this rifle, I'm pretty much gonna keep it stock. I don't think I'm actually gonna upgrade the spring in it. I'm pretty satisfied with this performance for a stock blaster war or an HVZ. I think 90 is fine for that. As far as future plans with this blaster, I've already painted it, so I'm happy there. I might go back and change some of the black to light blue, but other than that, I think it looks great. And like I said earlier, I think I might wanna make a, some type of bigger switch or something to where it's a quick, so when you, when you prime it, you could do a quick deprime so that I could load two just quickly and uh, then I will be extremely happy with this. So I have the option to actually fire it as a multi-shot and then of course, single shot when I don't need to fire a multi-shot. All in all, very happy with this, highly recommend it. I think it's a little expensive right now, I will say, you know, for a blaster, it's a bit pricey. Um, I personally am, am fine with the price because I'm a big fan of this. But uh, if, you, if you are into shotguns, I recommend it. If shotguns aren't really your thing, I'd probably stay away from this one and, Use your money elsewhere because it is a bit expensive. Well, I'm Dr. Flux. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, happy nerfing.